this dang thing. I think I got it now. <laughs> Been playing with it for about 20 minutes trying to get it to go. Ugh. Just got off the water. Don't worry, I'm in my driveway. I'm not drinking and driving. Mm. But I'm spilling. Uh, I know it's kind of early. I don't know if anybody's home yet. But uh, I can't wait too long because it gets dark and I got to put my turkeys up. But I wanted to talk about last night, yesterday. If anybody's uh, around. Ugh. Well, I'll just start with, uh, I got the boat loaded. Hey, Big Mike. I got the boat loaded. I got the boat unloaded on the water. Cranked her up. Went probably, I don't know, a mile, maybe two. And uh, it was just running like crap. So I, uh, I turned around and came back and put it on the trailer. I was going to go live last night, but I was so upset because it was such a great night for fishing and I really wanted to go fish that spot. And here I am, a uh, boat doesn't want to run right. I think, I think Raymond, I think you're correct. I think it's the spark plugs. But I have uh, spark plugs and the new fuel line coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to spend this weekend and hopefully get the rest of the kinks out. The Thursday before... <laughs> I was putting in the new batteries, the new uh, deep cycle batteries, and uh, when I'm jiggling the wires around in the back, I broke the, I wish I had it with me, it's on my boat, I broke the connection to the uh, the main fuse, the 20 amp fuse that goes to the control panel, and it had, I didn't have, it's like a little, it's like the inline fuses where the wire goes in and then you crimp it, and that, that's where it broke off and I didn't have a way to put it together, so then I had to go get a fuse, and anyway, it was, it's been two weeks, and, uh, I haven't been catfishing, it's starting to, anyway, that's what's going on, that's what happened, didn't catch anything, hey James, oh, yeah, I'll get it done, it'll get done this weekend, but, uh, I just wanted to tell Raymond, yeah, you're right, I think it was Raymond, Gary, and Cup all told me, check the spark plugs, check the spark plugs, and I didn't, so, but I did yesterday, one of them is kind of burnt, it was pretty funny, I pulled the spark plug, and I had never seen, because I don't work on boats, or really had a boat, I'd never seen a surface spark plug before, you know, I'm used to the little J spark plugs, and so when I pulled it out, I was like, holy crap, you know, the J's missing, um, <laughs> so I felt stupid there for a little while, but, hey, country girl, but uh, after a little YouTubing, I realized that's the way the spark plug is supposed to look. But the the center point on the third cylinder is fried. Uh, it's I don't think the third cylinder is firing, and that's why it's running so crappy. But uh, anyway, <laughs> it was pretty funny though. I wanted to tell you guys when I was scouting now uh, two two days ago looking for this uh, this catfishing spot. There was an older gentleman, I don't want to say old man, older gentleman and his son, and they were uh, in a boat on the left side uh, along a cliff. I was doing zigzags on the flat, scanning it, and they were fishing like the uh, the bluff wall. And uh, he was like, you know, doing something on the boat, and he went and he was fishing on the front of the boat, and he went to go sat down. He sat down, and then he jumped up like a damn snake and bit him in the butt, and I uh, you know, and he started like whooping and hollering, and I uh, I looked over and like, what the hell? I thought he was having a heart attack or something was really wrong. And he's going, he's going, son, son. He's like, get the pliers. I got a crankbait in my butt. <laughs> he's all bent over. <laughs> I know it's not funny. I know it's not funny, but when he said, I got a crankbait in my butt, I I just about busted out. It's not funny, but it was funny then <laughs> but uh anyway that's really uh all i have to say um i did go bass fishing today i got my butt whooped the wind's blowing like 20 25 so i didn't take the kayak out uh, parts will be in tomorrow so i didn't have the boat so i did some bank fishing yeah james yeah <laughs> they're a money pit yeah but Without them, 
on this giant leg, uh, I just don't have a chance. I can't just fish the same stuff over and over again. But uh, anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I went bass fishing today. The wind, wind was blowing like crazy and uh, it was cloudy and I thought they would go shallow and they didn't go shallow. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, anyway, I have theories on that, but my theory is, is like this lake has been high for like the last uh, six, seven years, except for the last three years. In the last three years, this area that I've been fishing has been really crappy. And I think what's happened is those little spots that they were used to going to, the, now those are out of the water. And so they pulled out like deep, but when it's cloudy and windy like this, you'd think they would go shallow and get up, uh, get up and start feeding, but it didn't happen. I was out there from like, 11 o'clock to now, so it was like, what, six hours, and, uh, I got one, one bite, caught one, it was a little small mouth, it was probably, like, 13 inches, and, uh, that was it, and then I just said, I'm going home, <laughs> I'm going home and do a little live stream for you guys, all right, guys, uh, don't want to take up your time, I know everybody's busy, we all got lives to live, so, uh, just keeping you up to date, and uh, I should be out Monday, so there should be a catfishing video uh, next week. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Tight lines. I'll see you later.